Welcome again, my dear brother and sister in Jesus Christ. Today, we have to discuss something about prayer. Do you have a time to pray? The importance of setting up the time aside for you to talk to God. You know, Jesus Christ was a man with power, but still was a man who had a time to pray with God. If you have the book of Desire of Ages, you can find and read it, and you find a lot of time Jesus Christ spent time with God. But not only Jesus Christ, our Savior, even for those people who believe in him, I say those who were before him uh, in much of mission this world, like prophets and patriarchs, they spend time with God so that they can hear his voice and talk to him their needs. We need to have a time to pray. We need to have a time to, to talk to God. When God says man is old to pray and not faint, according to the book of Luke chapter 18, uh, verse 1, that we are, not, we are supposed to pray. Uh, it doesn't mean that Christ needs us to pray for his need, but because we need him. When we pray, we don't bring Jesus Christ down to us. We are uplifted to him. We are connected with the heaven through the uh, everlasting power and omnipotent power. When we trust ourselves, we limit God to work. When we don't pray, we mean that we trust our own wisdom and we can do things in our own way. That's why we don't pray. But once we pray about anything, means we don't trust in our own power. We trust in him. Jesus Christ did everything as he was directed by God. And God is the one who did everything through Jesus Christ, not by Jesus Christ's own will. Means he prayed much. That's why he performed a lot of things. He performed his, uh, his plan as it was directed by God every single day. Also, even if we want, uh, if uh, on our side, if we want to accomplish much as God directs us or as we are planned by God, we need to pray much. Anything we need to accomplish in this world, if we don't want to be selfish and selfless and self-potent, we need to trust in God. We need to know that we need power. That's why we need to pray. Not only when we are weak, sometimes when we feel strong, the time we need God. That's why the Bible tells us, whoever thinks himself that he stands, we must look up that shall not fall. The moment you trust in yourself is the moment you are going to fall. This life, there's no guarantee in accessing and succeeding anything you want. We need to pray. We need to pray because we need a savior. Even in our life, we are surrounded by sin. We can say that atmosphere we are living in, we breathe in sin. We give out sin because in us there is nothing good. Therefore, we need to breathe another atmosphere so that we can live. We need to breathe the air from the heaven. How can we breathe it in and out? It's through prayer and meditation. When you pray, you breathe out. When you meditate, you breathe in. We bring something out of us. We think about the word of God. I don't mean the meditation that we think down like doing yoga. What I mean is, when you meditate upon the word of God, upon the power of God, upon the history of God, how he moved with his people, upon how God has been working with you throughout your life, means uh, it means that you are just meditating upon God and you are allowing the Holy Spirit to remind you some of the things that you have not, not seen and to tell you things that you don't know. Meditation brings power. But you can't meditate unless you put a time because we are busy. We are living in the busy world. Everybody is fighting for life, fighting for money, fighting for his family, 
marriage and whatever, a lot of stress, children, and a lot of things are happening surrounding us. But what can we do to save our own self? We can't do anything. We have to pray. Take your time to pray. Take your time to trust in the Lord. Things are changing. Jesus Christ is coming. He is preparing you for his coming. He's working day and night so that you can be saved. He will do whatever possible to save you. May you trust in his power and his wisdom by having a time to pray and spending time with him. May God bless you, my friend. Once you take your time to pray today, may God bless you. May God grant you his Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we are just empty vessel. We just make noise, but with no changes. To other people in our own self. I pray this message will touch your heart today. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, that you will be convinced. At least you take a time. One minute, two minutes, five, ten, three, thirty minutes to pray and meditate. We need help day and night from God. May God bless you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe this channel. Amen.